Hey there guys, Diego here. Hope you guys are having a great day, great afternoon, great night wherever you are. Please bear with me in this video. I have a new tripod, new camera, a new board, um, new everything. I'm investing everything I got into this channel. So hope you guys enjoy it, like and subscribe. Um, Today is going to be focused on affiliate marketing funnels, how to create killer affiliate marketing funnels that are going to um, 10x your income in affiliate marketing. So let's get right to it and without wasting your precious time, affiliate marketing funnels. So the first one we're going to look at is in the fitness niche. It is one of the most common niches out there, um, probably where the most amount of money has been spent in the coronavirus. Everybody wants to have um, coaching at home. They want to have a home gym, etc. So we're going to construct... Um, uh, marketing funnel for the fitness niche everything I'm gonna create is out of my mind I don't have any specific offer I want to promote no um, because I'm not sponsored if somebody wants to sponsor me please go ahead and do so um, but well first we're gonna create two different types we're gonna have organic or paid so starting here it is very important for you guys to have a, a plan um, whether you're gonna use um, paid advertisement so Google Ads Facebook Ads all of that good stuff or you're gonna use your existing traffic so what I would recommend if you're a complete beginner please use um, organic traffic there's no need to jump ahead so in this ad, you're gonna have a nice visual with nice information and a button right there. Nice video, let's say, let's change it up. Nice video, nice text and a button. So when people see your, your thing, you're gonna make your ad related to the product. Your marketing, of course, is gonna be a very um, visually attractive ad. Um, you have to make sure that when people are scrolling down, there is something that catches their attention so that they don't actually continue scrolling. So you want them to stop right here. In order to do so, you guys are gonna have to look at trainings on how to create a visually attractive ad, how to make copyright. Um, I'm actually creating a series on how to make attractive titles for ads. So stay tuned for that. Um, but well, you have your post or you have your ad, okay? So from here, it is important that we take them to a to a landing page. Landing page. Okay. So in the landing page, you're gonna have a quick video. Hopefully with your face, with you speaking, um, that is gonna be very powerful so that people actually trust you um, and they know that they're dealing with you and not with just anybody online. So you're gonna have some text that talks about the product and you're gonna have an opt-in button so right here you're gonna collect emails so okay so video and some text and a button okay so in this first landing page you're gonna be a very very friendly very um visually um attractive to people you're going to be happy you're going to be talking about your product um so be sure to spend time creating your landing page because this was your first impression right but now this one is actually your first impression for interested people so this is your general impression but this one is going to be the one that truly is the first impression for eventual um potential clients okay so here you have a, a text that talks about the product, your experience, the benefits, always provide a solution to their problem. Um, and here you have an opt-in button in which they give your email, email for a freebie. Okay, so for the, for the fitness niche, I would focus on giving a freebie such as a training, um, a checklist on what are the best home workouts, Maybe you can give them a challenge. So let's create, let's create this freebie right here. It is gonna be a 
a 30 day challenge that you de you design okay challenge free it's gonna be absolutely free okay so once people um accept to give you their email for the free product or for the free digital product that you create whether that is a video training or um something like a checklist a challenge um a webinar something like that um you're gonna take them to an upsell I'm gonna erase this so that you guys don't get confused. Hope you guys are taking notes, okay? This is gonna apply the same way for paid traffic or organic traffic. It is, it is just the first step that, that changes. Organic, so it applies for both. In the landing page, you collect your email. So remember, every single lead is a person so you must treat them as a person um in your email we're going to talk about email campaigns later on so after the landing page um we take them to what is called a one-time offer so again a video or a quick visual some text and a checkout button i'm gonna draw it like a card okay so a one-time offer is something that you will offer only to people that accepted your opt-in. So for those of you that didn't accept this, they will never see this offering. For those that did accept, you're going to send them to the one-time offer. In the one-time offer, what you're going to do is that you're going to give, um, give value at a discount. Let's say 20 percent off. So only for people that accepted your your freebie, um, they're gonna have the possibility to write then at the moment, like when they're in the process, to actually go ahead and get the one-time offering. Um, this is called a one-time offer because once they click off the page, they will never see it, and they would have um, to go ahead and start the process to get that freebie. Okay. So if they say yes. I'm going to do it right here. If yes, so it is proven that once somebody buys from you, um, they will buy again. Okay. So if they say yes, I'm gonna draw this right here real fast. If they say yes to your one-time offering, you're gonna take them to a page that is called an upsell or a bump sell, which is sort of similar to the one-time offering, but it's gonna be part of the process. So once somebody went through these two steps, they are more likely to continue buying at the moment. So if they quit the page and they forget about you and all these things, they might not be as likely to buy as right then in the moment. So when you're in a mall, it is more likely for you to actually continue buying and, and create a shopping spree than if you go once um, into a store that is individual. That, that's why stores are in malls because once somebody starts buying, it is very likely for them to continue buying. So if they say yes to your one-time offering, you, you take them to your bump sale. So let's make the graph right here real fast. Um, three, one, two and three okay so in this step we're just creating traffic so we're like step zero like here um landing page it is a free so once they accept the free you go to a one-time offering which is usually between 27 and 47 dollars this this is just my suggestion i'm not saying you guys should use this price so now they're here so they stepped up here now they're here um if they accept your one-time offering and they now feel that they know you and have enough value from you they probably gonna are gonna say yes to your bump sale so a bump sale is gonna be something extra real quick right here that may, might be let's say another 27 another 27 dollars 
or a $97 product. Okay, so it might be the same price. It might be the same price as the one time offering if it is a bump sale, um, or it might be $97 if it's an up sale. So once they go through this step, if they say no, You take them through a thank you page and you go through what we call retargeting. So if somebody quits your process right here before before getting your upsell or your bump sell, um, you get to make another ad with different visuals, maybe plant another program you're selling, another offer. Um, so you get them to start again. So if they say yes to your upsell, So I'm gonna explain this real quick. Just hang in with me. Um, so first step, this, then landing page. If they if they say yes, they get the one-time offering. If they say no, then you retarget and then you try to create different visuals so that maybe in the future they say yes. Um, but you stop focusing your on your efforts on the one that say no and actually focus on the one that say yes. If they say yes to your freebie, you show them a one-time offering with a low price, so low price, 27 to $47. If they say no, then you send them through a thank you page that just says, thank you for buying, uh, thank you for accepting my freebie, um, and you start the process all back again. And if they say yes, you take them to an upsell, which is this right here, um, a, three, a $2 signed product. Um, it is usually going to be or the same price, 27 to 47 if it is a bump sale or 97 if it is an upsell, okay? If they say no to your to your upsell, then you send them through a thank you page and you, through retargeting, try to, to like create new steps so that maybe they are attractive, okay? But remember, everything you got, you have in your email. So every, everybody that was interested at some point is now in your email. So you can use different retargeting and remarketing tools to actually get them, okay? So if they say yes to your upsell or bump sale, you take them to your upsell number two. Bump sale or upsell number two. So just so that we connect it back to the fitness niche, it's gonna be here. So. Um, a post or an ad that talks about the benefits of, I don't know, the new supplement um, in your freebie, you're going to give them a checklist of the benefits of some vitamins and minerals, and you're going to give them a challenge so that they create seven days of vitamin intake challenge. I don't know, something like that. Something that is attractive enough for them to give you their email. So for the one-time offering, you're going to offer a, a two-week sample of your supplement that is gonna be, I don't know, $27. If they say yes, um, you go ahead and um, continue with the upsell and you send them, okay, you bought the $27 product. How about um, for, for $97, you're gonna get five um, jars of supplement. So instead of costing $135, it's gonna be only $97. So if they accept your five month supply of supplements, then you send them to another bump zone in which you say, hey, you got the supplements. Do you want this complimentary product? Which is gonna be another supplement with another vitamin um, and you're gonna offer that for $150. So every time they scale up, you're adding something else that has value um, until they say no and they check out. So if they say no to the, one-time offer, that's okay. You send them to a thank you page 
and you restart the process. Everything, um, anytime a customer buys, you're gonna end up in what we call a checkout page. So in the check in the checkout page, what you're gonna do is confirm your your client's um, purchase, and you're gonna highlight the benefits that they just got. So in the checkout page, you're going to talk about what they received by getting your product. Um, and you're also going to talk about um, what they didn't receive. So it is as important for you guys to highlight. So by getting all of these things, you got those benefits and you're going to see those benefits. By not getting this, this and this, let's say they didn't accept your upsell one or upsell two you're gonna highlight that in the checkout page. So you're gonna say, hey, thank you so much for buying our product, blah, 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 number one. Um, you will receive this, 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 and this. However, you won't receive this, 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 and this, which are the benefits of the options. So I know this is very complicated, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be simplifying all of this into a visual, actual funnel that I'm gonna be creating using my software. Um, it is going to be a visual element of this explanation. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, hope you guys learned. I'm going to take you here closer so that if you want, you can actually take a screenshot um, and you can analyze it later. Um, please let me know if there's anything I can help you guys out with. If you guys are interested in more exclusive content, um, please go ahead and send me a message on Instagram saying Facebook. I will let you guys into our exclusive Facebook group so that you guys can network, learn more, communicate with me, interact with me in a more deeper, personal way. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a quick overview on how complicated a funnel can be. This is a killer recipe that... Um, really takes your income to another level every time you make a sale it is not going to be five dollars ten dollars it is probably going to be an average of 90 to 100 dollars um and it can be done in any niche so hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one pura vida